I'll give you a little story to the glory of God. When the Lord gave me a revelation to organize the conference in the United Kingdom, Listen, every time I pray, I go with childlike faith and I tell the Lord, I am not much by myself. When you add me up, I don't amount to much by myself. But if ever you are looking for a tool to reveal your glory to the nations, from the frailty of this voice that you hear, find a vessel in me. That is the biggest secret to the life of this man you see standing. It is not because we are extraordinarily intelligent in ourselves. It is not because we have some advantage outside of Jesus. It is that we have mastered the art of casting our crown and saying, I am available. If you can find a vessel in me, let me be that treasure in earthen vessel. I may not amount to much by myself, but I know that with you, there is no limit to what I can do. And he says, you mean you are determined to reveal me? Hold my hands and let me take you to the nation i'm speaking to someone here you have tried to be famous without jesus it has refused to work you have tried to make money you have tried ministry quit all those mundane ambitions and go back to realizing that all can be yours when all of you belong to him all can be yours when all of you belong to him that everything i seek ah, all i want is for you for you to be glorified for you to be lifted all i want is for you for you to be glorified for you to be lifted all i want is for you for you to be glorified, for you to be lifted high. I'll give you a little story to the glory of God. When the Lord gave me a revelation to organize the conference in the United Kingdom, the Lord said, this is beyond the conference. I want to do, to produce a sign and a wonder through your life. There is a statement that I want to make to the body of Christ that I can lift men. I can embrace them and that there is nothing impossible hallelujah the entire preparation for that conference was done in less than three months and then God gave me an instruction now this was a unique instruction he said do not collect offering you will feed all the workers and I will bring there is a message that I want to give the church in Europe that the reason why you are excelling is not because of the times and the economy and he said that program will be organized during a weekday if you know anything about europe you don't go and organize a program during a weekday no a weekday where people are having their jobs and yet that was the instruction god gave can i tell you you will remain a sign and a wonder when your life is poured out as a drink offering to reveal him and what God did there with I'm not somebody who likes to talk about all these kinds of things I just give God glory and I continue to move but it's a phenomenal message and can I tell you God is in the business of raising ordinary men in this season you will see men who don't look like it but they will still be used as mighty tools and that includes you if you are interested don't sit down and say listen when it was time for Samuel to anoint the next king there was Eliab, well built, already positioned for the palace, looking like you, the seat will fit you. But God said, that's not how I work. Go and find that young boy. There are some of you, God brought you to this conference because he has been looking for you. How do I get you to anoint you? How do I separate you to anoint you? And God created a convergence, a meeting like this, as an opportunity to place something upon your life. Hallelujah. The only condition, ladies and gentlemen, there is a place for diligence. Success has principles and laws, but the greatest that I know is to be an available vessel. The greatest principle I know, and believe me, I have known and by the grace of God, I have taught the precepts that can help men to ascend heights in life and destiny. The greatest of them that I know, beyond your prayer, 
beyond your fasting you can fast with a heart that is full of lust and just wanting self glorified you can pray with a heart that is just full of self the greatest preparation for an extraordinary life is total surrender total surrender when all of you becomes a tool a mirror to reveal jesus in its entirety you have signed up for a life of greatness where you will be envied by nations they will look around your life and you don't look like it what exactly is the factor in the life of this man of god this businessman this parent that you may not be educated but you can gather your four or five children and say lord i may come from a family that does not have any comeliness but i hand over these five children there are two girls and three boys make out of them everything you desire and god said that is it let me make one a prophet one esther one elijah one ruth let me make one gideon and you will watch those ordinary children from their lowly estate because of a covenant that their parents had with god if you are looking for the secret to being mightily used by god i can tell you prayer fasting and all these other spiritual activities only become relevant when your heart condition has been sorted otherwise it can become a ritual a burdensome ritual that is just a display of hypocrisy and fanatism without genuine connection hallelujah this is the reason why god continues to isolate certain people and to scale height for seven years i've had the honor and the privilege of coming to this church and i have watched god lift his servant i have watched god lift the household of david i can tell you there may be a lot of things that were put in terms of systems administration but the greatest basis for the lifting of men i remember one time we we're traveling to abel kuta and pastor was driving me and we're going and we're discussing and all we're discussing was our love for jesus and the fact that in his prophetic end time program we can position ourselves to reveal him when it becomes about joshua selman you have lost touch with eternal things when it becomes about wanting fame when it becomes about wanting greatness in isolation to the revelation of jesus you have lost it everything in the kingdom finds its relevance from its ability to reveal jesus i am gifted your gift does not matter to god until you hand it over as a drink offering and say lord can you use this gift you gave me the ability use it for my glory i'm saying this because before we get into the impartation we are going to have five minutes of total surrender you're going to be handing over everything the first assignment this morning is a handover ceremony hand over that ministry so that it does not kill you for nothing hand over your children hand over your gift in everything it says but i know whom i have believed and i am persuaded that he is able to keep that which is committed unto him god does not keep what you have he keeps what is committed to him some of you here are men of god already some of you are being groomed to be the end time battle acts that the lord will be using in lagos and across the west can i tell you you are only scheduling your life for disappointment if all you think that will make you a great man of god is just revelation and the ability to preach well it takes more than good speaking prowess to affect a generation